What is going on, beautiful people? Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And today, guys and gals, we are going to be installing a mod called Trunk Control, uh, which might be good to give a little immersive, a little more immersive experience in LSPDFR. If you ever have to go to your trunk to, uh, you know, put something in there. I know we got stop the pet and all that, but sometimes I like to pretend going to the trunk to get breathalyzer test or uh, drug swabs or something like that so without further ado let's get into it click the link down below that says trunk control it's going to bring you to this page right here we are going to go into the game and check it out real quick um big shout out to Vielfalt. 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 i'm sorry i hope i'm not hacking your name i probably am so sorry big shout out to you uh let's go ahead and click the blue download this file and agree and download and it should be fairly quick because it is just a plugin ba -da -ba -ba. there we go and we're going to get rid of the purchase me box and let's minimize that okay so here we are folks we have our WinRAR right here we're going to need our we're going to need our main directory I'm, I'm my mind is moving faster than my mouth so i'm, I'm stumbling over my words all right for steam users it's going to be the disk drive that you have your game installed through uh through steam um, and you're gonna go to program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, and common. Okay, right here, you're gonna see your Grand Theft Auto folder or folders. I'm gonna go to mine. I have mine in a different pathway because I have a different uh, hard drive. Uh, so I'm gonna go here, 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 and then common. And here's all mine right here. So we're gonna click that one because that's the one we're gonna use. And here we are. Uh, I like to call this our Grand Theft Auto main directory front page. Make sure you got a buffer zone right here, okay? You don't want your you don't want your your file all if it's tight like that. Come on, get over yourself. All right, you want a buffer zone right here, just like that, okay? And here you should see your scripts folder, update folder, plugins, mods, all that other good stuff right here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, here's the installation files. There's the plugins. So this is a simple plugin, okay? Uh, then we have the README, which, uh, let's drag this over here. How to install, which we know how to do. How to load trunk control. There are two ways of how you can load the plugin. Use load plugin trunk control and RPH or load the plugin on startup RPH settings, which I'll show you. Um, okay. And let's get to it. So let's go back in the WinRAR. You're going to see installation files. Double click it. There's your plugins folder, folks. Now, before you do anything, when you left click that file, then you hold it and you drag it. You do not want to light anything up. If you th see anything like that light up, do not drop it there, okay? Also, don't do the mistake that I first did when I very first started, is I took this plugins folder and I dragged it into here into my GTA 5 files. Destroyed my game. Do not do that. That's why I say have this little buffer zone here, right? Because if you bring it over, it doesn't highlight anything, okay? Anywhere as you go. But if you move over just a tad, or if you move over right there, you highlight, bad. Don't highlight anything. Just go right here, drop it in. You'll see your plugins folder light up like that. We can exit out of our WinRAR. Let's double click the plugins folder. And trunk control right there. Just trying to see if there's a trunk control uh, INI, which I'm sure there is in this folder. Double click the trunk control folder. And there it is, trunk control I and I. So let's see. So that's the trunk key. The trunk key is T. Um, we're going to keep it at that. I don't know if it's going to clash with any other buttons, but um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try it out. So I wonder, D-pad right. I think if I'm at my trunk or D-pad left. I'm going to give that a try. So, I'm going to go to D-pad left. Just like that. You can see it says it up there exactly how you can have it. All right, D-pad left. And if you change anything, go to file. Go to save. Okay, so we got T, D-pad left. Let's exit out of here. We can exit out of our main directory. All right, now before we can get into the game, there's just one thing we've got to do. Go ahead and click your rage and hold your shift key all right it's going to bring up your rage options you're going to go to plugins 
And you're gonna make sure that trunk control is checked. Okay, if it's not checked, it's not gonna work. You have to check it. Save and launch. I'll see y'all in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are in the game. And one thing that I noticed is you have to be in the car. Now, if I was to make one recommendation to the developer of this, I would make it so that you can maybe pop the trunk from outside of the car, right? Because I love realism and you can't close the trunk of a Crown Vic from inside the vehicle, right? Um, so with that being said, I rock ELS. Folks, if you put your keybind to your D-pad left, change it, okay? Because uh, you have to be in the car to pop the trunk, okay? So it's a cool, it's a very cool feature, right? If you pull up to a scene and you hit that T button, and let's say you have to do traffic control or something, you gotta, you gotta get cones and stuff out of your trunk, you hit that T, and there you go, your trunk is popped. Super cool, I love it, it's simple. It's great, it's, it's, I like it, okay? Um, now, setting the key bind to D-pad left like I did, you can see as I turn on my ELS lights, it's, my trunk's just gonna go crazy, so I will be removing the D-pad left off of it. Um, as you can see, if you're outside of the car, and I got Deputy Dangle right now, he's Deputy Dangle, off-duty Dangle, um, if I hit the T button, it says you are not in your vehicle. So it would be cool to be able to hit the T button and have the trunk shut right now. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's a great start uh, to something that I think could be cool. I think I think uh, being able to open and close the trunk from outside is key, as well as maybe have the guy do some sort of, um, some sort of uh, animation or something. Uh, for instance, when I pretend to go get something, a breathalyzer, for instance, uh, I use Simple Trainer. I go to my trunk, I hit my G button, and I just select Replenish Ammo. See how he opens the trunk like that, and then he goes down, and he's it's like he's getting something, right? I think if this mod can make that, that would be great. But this might be for somebody who doesn't have uh, Stop the Pet. So um, with that being said, I hope this mod works for you. If not, well, then it just does it but just don't put the keybind to your d-pad left i'm gonna go change that now before i forget if you're new here and you like what you've seen go ahead and smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel it's absolutely free to do and i promise you will not regret it and if you do ring that bell so that you know a new content is added we drop stuff every day all kinds of stuff ladies and gentlemen we are coming up on 5500 subscribers and i cannot tell you how humble and happy that makes me. I truly love y'all so, so much. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, be positive, follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later, y'all.